containers in the building. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Goodo Pig. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to a Mr. Good OK production. Today on the channel, we're going to look at a local golf course created by a local himself on the golf club 2019. Crazy statistic. The person creating this course has never even played the course. They've just used pictures and blog posts from the local greenskeeper. This has been an ongoing project for the last four versions of this game, and the creators put in over 150 hours into this course. I can't stress how closely this is to the real thing and how impressed I am and many others, so I wanted to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, welcome to the Bass Rocks Golf Club 2019. Course creator, Derek Souza. Look at this attention to detail. This is the first hole. We're gonna just play it. Looks pretty spot on. You can head down there. We're just gonna hit really fast throughout the day today. As you can see. Same thing, same approach into the green even looking back at the hole everything looks the same so this is hole one even from that angle the attention to detail is crazy. All right, now on to hole two. This is the shore part three. You got the back shore right there, a couple boats. You can even start to see uh, the Elks, even the tennis court. Now the building options, there's not an infinite amount of building options so you got to take what you can get but we're not going to be picky moving on to hole three you have the elks to the left yes it's brown but you got a parking lot in there and then you got the hotels along the back shore right there so Again, very spot on. Even looking into the next hole. So looking back at it, you have the Elks. You even have the Twin Lights. Hole number four, that short par four we got coming up. Dog leg left, bunkers on the left, so you can't just kind of fly to the green. Houses right there on the back. On to hole five. Redone holes. Let's share a fairway. All the way down. Into that back corner, got the house there. Tricky green. On to hole six. Long hole. Surprised that it's the tenth hardest hole in the course. I would assume this is harder. I don't know if he was able to pick the stroke index or if they were they picked it for you but I think this core, this shot is actually one of the harder ones yeah. on to the par 5 hole 7 <clears throat> the dog leg par 5 skinny fairway 
kind of runs out to the right. Elevated green, that's small. On to hole eight, the par three with the pond to the left, protected by the bunker. Second par three. All right, I'm gonna show you hole nine via the application of the game. This is back over the bridge too, so it is longer out there. So as you can see, dog legs down to the right. If you're back at the tee box, you can see the trees that you have to aim over. Try to hit. Uh, even out to the left, you get the pond and everything, so pretty pretty similar to the original hole. That was the front nine. We're going to now go on to the back nine. Starting with hole number 10. Through the rocks, uphill, elevated green. Dangerous green with the stone wall right there which will make you have to actually not hit driver. You got the houses up on the left and behind. Moving on to hole number 11. Signature hole of the course with the twin lights in the background. Par four, downhill into a short green two-tiered green. You even got the snack shack up on the left. As you can see that elevated green so let's see what happens if you can hit it right there. Maybe it will roll down. Didn't roll out as much as you'd like, but normally it would. All right, we just got a hot dog and a Snickers bar from the snack shack. Use the restroom. Even used the little mirrored telescope, submarine type telescope to make sure nobody's hitting. We're not hitting into anybody. So we're good to play. On to hole 13, the long par three. Two holes before the meadows. Really close to Moreland Road. Hole 14, right before the meadows, <clears throat> excuse me, you got the service maintenance shacks to the right, the hills and the rocks to the left. On to the meadows, we got the tennis courts to our left. The parking lot, some tennis courts down below. Short par four with the houses on the left. That's an elevated green. On to hole number 16, coming back towards the clubhouse. You have fairly long par four moves to the left a little bit. On to hole 17, that very long 
par three, 240 yards. With not a lot of room to miss on the left side, you definitely want to ride that hill on the right side. On the hole, number 18, you got the pond on the right. A couple mounds you got to get over, the two mounds. Preventing you from taking long drives. And then it brings you back to the clubhouse. You have the practice green. And that is it. We have finished 18 holes of the Bass Rocks Golf Course. Thank you for tuning in. Wanted to give you a review and give a shout out to Derek Souza for spending a lot of hard work and energy on such a beautiful course. I can't tell the difference. It's like you're actually out there playing.